Hi all, in this tutorial, I will show you how to do the PVT process voltage temporary simulation for different parameters of operational amplifier or any other circuit in general. So here I am using the same test bench which I use to do the Monte Carlo analysis. The reason being is I want to show you the impact of uh, PVT variations on uh, the different parameters from the open loop gain setup from the common mode gain setup and as well as on the sleeve rate and on the total harmonic distortion. You can also, if you are interested in some other for, from the, for the noise, you can also use the test bench here and do the PVT variations. So uh, just a brief overview about the PVT variations. We do this process voltage temperature variations uh, so that we can see uh, when we actually fabricate our circuit, whether it will operate across all extreme conditions or different conditions because right now, uh, in a simulator or on my screen on my desktop i'm simulating it with the ideal condition that for example my vdd is 1.8 volt power supply the temperature is room temperature 27 degrees and i'm also assuming that there is no mismatch between two devices for example the nmos uh, two nmoses or two pmoses which are in my op operation amplifier they have the same uh, device properties or characteristics but this does not happen in the real world. So basically when we fabricate uh, the amplifier, the two NMOS which have for them the same width and length, same aspect ratios, they cannot have same uh, properties. There will be slight uh, variation between them. So we would like to also predict the impact of these variations, okay? So this uh, we'll, we'll do here. So let's go step by step. So for example, uh, the first thing what I did here is, uh, I had this VDD as from the analog lib, but I used them as a pin. The reason being, I want to also sweep the VDD as I said, the voltage would like to sweep it also. So I will go here, launch. Uh, I will launch the ADXL. Uh, I create a new one. Okay. So this is the window which I get uh, when I launch the ADXL. So the first thing is always, I would like to add a test here. So I go here, click to add test. And I go to the PVT. So I will load a state. So this is mostly the same state which I was using for the Monte Carlo here. The only thing is here, I defined the, uh, this VDD as a variable here. The reason being is because I would like to also sweep it, okay? So the rest is same as the Monte Carlo here. I would like to see the impact of the PVT uh, variations on uh, the different parameters of the operation amplifier, okay? And to go here to check, so it's the nominal nominal here for now, which is okay. So everything's fine now. Let's go to the back of the ADXL window. So here, uh, you can see here, I had a global variable here, VDD. And uh, let me add now the corners. So click to add corner here. This window will come here. So there is this uh, option here, add new corner. So if you if you know about the uh, process corners, so there are typically five of process corners, which we use to, uh, uh, to verify the performance of our uh, of the amplifier so these corners they are generally a two letter convention letter conventions so where the first letter uh, represents the behavior of the nmos and this second le letter uh, uh, defines the behavior of the pmos okay so the first thing is here uh, i will explain them also but let me first here let's go to the model file i'll add the model file here which i basically i will import some tests here okay so now I have the model file here, which I use for the simulation of the uh, operation amplifier so far. Okay. Now let's go one by one and add the different process corners. So I will just click here. As I said, we have typically five process corners. So I will select here five. I will add five corners, and the nominal one I will unselect it for now. Okay. Now, as I said, as I already mentioned, that uh, the process uh, corners they are a two-letter convention where the first letter defines the behavior of NMOS and the second letter defines the behavior of PMOS. So I go here, click on section and I double click here. So a drop down will come and it will show me the process corners here. So what does this FF mean? So the FF means both PMOS and NMOS, they are fast. Okay. This is only when, when you are fabricating actually the threshold of the PMOS and NMOS. If they are, if it's uh, less than the typical threshold, the PMOS and NMOS, they are fast. So that's why it's fast, fast. So the next concern we consider that what if 
my nmos is fast and pmos is slow similarly my uh, this is the nominal like everything is behaving ideally everything and then the other way the slow fast nmos is slow pmos is fast then what if both are slow okay uh, don't forget to select them here so this is the process variation now the second is voltage okay so if you remember we defined the vdd here as a global variable so i just click here uh, design variable sorry so it will come vdd here now uh, i assume that there is a plus minus 10 percent variation of the power supply when i actually fabricate the whole chip okay when the chip comes uh, after the fabrication to me the power supply which i was supplying it's not exact 1.8 so far just uh, for trial purpose, what I will do is I will take 1.78 and uh, 1.8 and 1.2, 1.82. Okay, so I assume that uh, it can the worst it will go is 1.78 volt from 1.8, or it can go the maximum it can go 1.82. So now I assume that this is again uh, going to impact. So I'm basically copy pasting it on each corner here. So I'm assuming that the impact on the Power supply will be like 1.78 1.8, but you can also change more. You can keep also less uh, according to your specification or you know your requirements. Now the V is also done. So P I defined all the corners and the voltage also the power supply also defined. The third one is the temperature. So here again, okay. So what I do here is it depends again your application where you are going to use the operation amplifier whether it's for biomedical application or for military application or for automobile application. You know something like this. So as an example here, I take it zero degree and uh, room temperature and I will take let's say 80 degree. Okay, so I just take these three here, copy paste them. So now what I did is I assume that the worst conditions what can happen, you know, when uh, the chip is actually uh, implemented in a product, the temperature can go zero or 80 degree. Okay, or the voltage can go, go, go 1.78 to 1.82 or one of them can operate fast and one slow something like this so basically i did all these things here i defined i just press ok here and now i will run it single so you see here i i created 45 corners here okay so it will take some time to simulate so when we run this uh, our design our amplifier our operational amplifier were different pvt corners that means uh, what we are trying to do here we are trying to include the environmental variations which is uh, the impact on the voltage and the temperature and as well as the manufacturing variation which is a process or in other words we are also trying to see the same thing in the Monte Carlo also so when we do all those things and after seeing the results we get uh, a better idea how the chip is going to behave in the real world okay so let's wait for a moment again if you want to uh, have uh, if you want to know the impact of the PVT variations on any parameter or any uh, device parameter you need to define it in the calculator and then do it here I mean you can get here also the waveforms like the AC response you can plot it also here but uh, it's not in the readable format I mean it, you cannot get a good information out of those waveforms okay so let's wait for a moment once this simulation is over then we can again go back we can plot and we can see uh, And from this, you can also identify the worst case corners, and then you know you can see how bad it's going to get. And you can use some calibration circuitry or something, you know, to negotiate or to you know somehow bring back these variations because of the process voltage and temperature to the nominal something like this. For example, you can use uh, some SAR ADC calibration, SAR DAC calibration, or maybe some some. Uh, algorithms like uh, binary weighted algorithms or something like this you know to thermometer coding something like this to control the uh, current source or voltage sources uh, across different nets uh, with which you can somehow compensate the impact of the PVT variations so now we are almost finished okay let me plot it now we'll see here a lot of waveforms again and uh, they will define the impact of uh, the PVT on let's say bandwidth, phase margin, slip rate, gain, uh, UGF. So, as an example, let me take, um, I will delete some of them just to 
see you know show you one of them i don't know i was trying to copy it earlier it was not going to another window but uh, okay so let me there is the phase mark okay now i have this one game okay one of the parameter so i will just click here expand it so you can see here if i expand a bit here so the x-axis is here, here temperature so i am seeing uh, the impact of let's say this one it's a fast pass and at voltage 1.78 so i'm seeing the impact of uh, the fast pass corner and the power supply 1.78 uh, across different temperature the impact on the gain so you can see here it's decreasing and it's going around around 80 uh, 80 degree uh, sorry let me press v i can see it exactly it is a temperature and uh, for this corner i'm seeing it's going around 63 degree. So I think what you have to do is make sure when you are trying to see this impact on the uh, different parameters of your operation and fire with the PVT, you need to make sure you are still meeting your required specifications, the defined specifications. For example, here, if my uh, specifications, I see here the, the lowest value of the gain, I have around 45 D. Okay. So for example, if uh my requirements are that i need minimum of 50 db gain that means i need to go back to my design and do some optimization to make this 50 db okay and for example here if uh if the required gain is around 40 db so i'm happy with this 45 db or if it's 43 i'm happy with this so i can check again for different you know scenarios what is the impact of gain and all those things similarly for other parameters I need to make sure that they are meeting meeting the specifications around different uh, process corners, the voltage variation and the temperature variations. So this is how you do the PVT variations of an op-amp. So once you are all uh, finished with all these simulations which I uh, showed you uh, here, so then you can go for the layout also. Thank you.